it's Mrs. Paolo Moore and today we're going to be doing some bush art. So we are so fortunate in Australia to have the oldest living culture in the world with our Aboriginal people. And before we start, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which I sit and our school sits, the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung and Bunurong peoples of the Kulin Nation. And I pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. And today we're going to be inspired by the local Indigenous community and their connection to the gum trees that grow along the rivers in Melbourne and in our parklands. The Wurundjeri people take their name from the Woiwurrung language word Warren, meaning the manna gum which are the eucalyptus trees, our gum trees. They're very common along the Yarra River and the Maribyrnong River and in parklands in Melbourne. And so today we're going to use some gum leaves. And I was very fortunate enough on my run this morning to find some blossom and some gum nuts as well that had fallen off some trees. So being respectful to our environment and not taking um, lots of leaves from a tree or damaging the tree, but we are going to collect some leaves today. There are lots of different shapes and types of gum leaves. If you can't find gum leaves, any kinds of leaves or flowers that you have, either in your garden or that you can access easily on a little walk just around your neighborhood. I've removed some of the leaves from the branch and I've got some of the gum nuts and the blossom flowers as well. And so I'm going to make some different patterns. And as I do this, I want you to think about working in a circular pattern. So a circle is a very powerful symbol of connection but in, in Indigenous culture, circle can mean coming together, a gathering can also be a symbol of water and water holes and can symbolise a whole lot of things like campsites and very important things in culture. So we're going to use a circular pattern. And as you do this, in terms of your art elements, I'd like you to consider balance and symmetry. So if you put a leaf on one side of your circle, and match a leaf on the other side. So I'm going to start off with four leaves. One, two, three, four. It's almost like a compass, isn't it? North, south, north, south, east and west. So then I might lay another leaf in between to make the circular pattern. I might add some blossom into the center. And then I need to think about my gum nuts. Maybe I'll put a gum nut in between each one. So I'm also playing with pattern. So it goes leaf gum nut, leaf gum nut and the pattern goes around. So some more gum nuts here. So once you're happy with your pattern, take a photograph of it. Then I might stretch and explore a bit more might think about how I can create some different patterns using the same elements. So I might put all my gum nuts in the middle. Get 
you're happy with it, take another photo. And now I might just do just playing around with just some different ideas. I wonder what patterns you can come up with. Can't wait to see them.